Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another fairy tale review. Today's chapter is 434, and we start off with the god thing that he summoned that we left off of in the last chapter. In this chapter, we start to see that when he swings the sword, it's kind of with a silhouette thing, and um, Urza immediately warns everybody, "Watch out!" So like they all dodge, and we have Natsu that just pretty much gets on top of the sword after the earth was split, and he starts going like blitzing right towards him. But then we have this one page of him kind of running in an animalistic way, and while he's doing this, the avatar leader says it is useless. You can't do much damage to this guy. But the whole point is not for that. So he goes up and up and he pretty much scales the god-like figure. And he asks him, do you even know what comrades are? And then he goes, Nasu says, nope, that's not what comrades are. Comrades are those who pretty much are willing to walk with you. All of them are not have the same goal as you. They're there to protect you. You're supposed to love them and protect them back the same way they protect you, even though they don't have the same goals. That was pretty cool that he mentioned that we get a little picture of Igneo, which is pretty nostalgic because we haven't seen him in a while and he already died or he left with the rest of the dragons. So this one is a bit more nostalgic in a sense that we got a lot of the feels in this chapter, how he feels towards Igneo. He says, no matter what happens, I'll get stronger even after this battle is over. So it was cool seeing that. In the next chapter, we will have double issue next week. And it will be a big announcement. So have a nice day and comment on what you think the big um, announcement is and what will happen in the devil issue of next week. Thank you and have a nice day.